Hey guys, I'm uh, here in the lab after Monday's arcade warehouse madness where we took two K7000s and kind of did some repairs to them. Unfortunately, we didn't finish them. Uh, there's a problem with one that I'm having here and I wanted to share it with you guys and show you the issue and kind of walk you through some of the troubleshooting tips you can do to fix this issue. So let me just show you here. I'm going to turn it on. I basically have it set up here. I've got a couple isolation transformers on a power strip. Um, Neo Geo Fatal Fury with a power supply, a switcher power supply. I use this mirror here so I can see what's happening on the screen. A lot of times I use a Variac too, but right now I'm just using this setup. So let me fire this on. Show you what this is doing. So as you can see, definitely some, some deflection issues or something's happening with the vertical IC or circuit. I've tried all the settings, all the different combinations, and I cannot get this to look any better than this right now. Hey guys, okay, we're back here. Kind of got things set up a little bit. So the first thing you kind of want to do when servicing or troubleshooting a 7000 with these kind of video issues is to kind of check some voltages. Uh, the first voltage you want to check is obviously B+. So I've got my meter here. This big resistor on the side that wires into the board is the B+, resistor that you want to use to check your B+. So what I've done is I've just taken my black lead from my multimeter and I've used an alligator clip and clipped it to the chassis for ground reference. I'm going to take my red lead, my meter set to DC, and I'm going to probe both sides of this uh, this big resistor here, 25 watt resistor. Um, the side that's closest to the CRT tube is the unregulated side and we want to see uh, somewhere around 160 volts DC. So here we go. So 157 looks pretty good. And the other side is the regulated side and this can tell us a lot. If this matches the unregulated side, normally you have an issue with the hold down circuit and a way to correct that or check it, usually your CRT filament will not be lit and the monitor will sound like it's trying to static and charge up but in fact you have no picture and you can normally lift one leg of D10 and see if your hold down circuit is functioning properly. Um, but in our case here, we have 130 stable volts DC for B plus regulated for a 25 inch that's pretty normal it's kinda of what we want to see so that's how you test your B plus on a 7000 again you attach your ground to your frame however you want you can stick it in a hole or tap it on there it's usually easier if you just attach it to the frame ground so you can then go ahead and, and probe other areas. Um, the side closest to the neck board is your regulated side. And you can see we have 130 volts DC and the other side is the unregulated side and we have 157 volts. So we're looking pretty good there. So, like I said, we needed to set this board up so we could probe live at the board. And I just want to suggest and mention to you that if this is new to you, I do not suggest you prop your board up like this. This is a live circuit, extremely high voltages, very dangerous. If you're following a lot at home, following along at home, do not, do not try this if it's not something you're familiar with or feel comfortable or safe with. This can be very deadly, lethal, and dangerous, and um, unfortunately it's the only way to get at some of these ICs and probe them. As you can see, I've used a zip tie here to tie this board off so it cannot fall or fall down or anything like that. It's on a rubber mat to keep it away from all the metal and anything like that, so um, basically it's as safe as it can be, but still very dangerous. IC3, which is the vertical IC, I've taken and I have taken pins 4 and 6 and attached two capacitor legs so I could probe them safely for obvious reasons. It's very difficult to probe them, those legs, without shorting out the other, the other side of the leg or um, doing anything like that, especially when you're trying to film and, and show what you're trying to do. So I've 
I've done that for safety reasons and just to make it a lot easier to explain what I'm doing. Basically, we're probing pin 6 for 24 volts and the bottom pin on pin 4 has an oscilloscope probe which we'll get into here in a minute. So just briefly, if I can show you guys. This is the schematic for the 25 inch K7000 P538. IC3, what we're focusing on here is pin 6, uh, 24 volt rail. So that's the input of the pin, 24 volts coming in, and the def vertical deflection output is on pin 4. And I know that because I've looked at the LA7831 pinout data sheet, which clearly shows that pin 6 is the input. Sorry about that, pin 6 is the input and pin 4 is the vertical output. Okay? So you can look all that stuff up online and that's the best way to probe chips and find out if they're working and kind of see what's going on. The easiest way to check their voltages in and out and, and using an oscilloscope to, to monitor or check the signals on the way out. Okay. So, that being said, what we're looking for obviously is the 24 volts. So as you see here, I have my multimeter set up. I have my two leads alligator clipped, a red alligator clip and a black alligator clip. The black clip is just kind of clipped up onto the uh, vertical IC's heat sink for a, for a cold ground. And also the oscilloscope probe is, is, is attached to it as well for cold ground. On pin 6, I have the red multimeter lead and we're looking for 24 volts. As you can see, we have that 24 volts. We're sitting at you know, it's a little high, 24.9, 25 volts. Um, that's, you know, that's okay. There's definitely always going to be some drift in these circuits, and also the circuit's not functioning as properly as it should, so that might settle down a bit once we figure out what's happening here. And on pin 4, I have the oscilloscope probe, which is probing the vertical deflection output. So on the scope over here, the green scope on the HP 54601A, which is a great scope by the way, very easy to use, you basically just plug it in and hit the auto button and Bob's your uncle, off it goes. Now this this defer, the, sorry, vertical deflection output image we're seeing troubles me a little bit because really, excuse me, Really, this this top overlay here kind of worries me. I've seen a lot of K7000 output on the vertical IC, and it's normally a very crisp, clear line um, with your with your uh, pulses. So I'm wondering what's happening here, and this is kind of leading me to to feel like we need to change this vertical IC. So based on on my findings here, the next step is going to be to replace the vertical IC and and see if we have solved the problem. So basically, at this point, I'm going to set up to do that, and once I'm done setting up to change out this chip, um, we'll get you back on the camera, we'll swap out the chip, and we'll see if we've made any progress. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. 